This is Jackie the Hot Tub Lady and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you're here. As always, make sure you ring the bell so you can get all the notifications. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button right over here. I swear, one of these days when I get this right, you guys, you won't even have to think about it. Anyway, today we're going to talk about it is spring. Hot tubs are the hottest item on the ticket today. And today we're going to talk about what, how much should I pay for a hot tub in 2021. Hang on and I'll be right back. Oh, hey guys, thanks again so much for coming in and don't forget to ring that bell. I can't wait to get into today get into today's topic. Today's topic is how much should I pay for a hot tub in 2021? And I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I, you know, I actually researched this topic on Google Trends just to kind of see how it was doing because with the pandemic and everything that's going on, hot tubs are at an all time high and that's a hundred percent sure. And, but I was just curious to see, you know, where, where Google Trends are. And I'll actually put a video or I'll put a picture up here right now. So you can kind of see that it, it had a a pretty good uh, peak in April of last year and then it kind of dipped down and then back up in July again and then it kind of was down down for a while now but here we are March April of 2021 and interest has skyrocketed and being in the store on an everyday le level I can definitely tell you that now the difference between April of last year and April of this year or April any other year to be honest with you is Inventory is just non-existent. There, there really are no hot tubs. And I'm speaking for pretty much every retailer in the United States, actually in the world. I can tell you that I've actually received phone calls from Germany, Denmark, Italy, Canada, I mean, all over. Everybody is trying to get a, get a hot tub, and they'll actually call the store looking to see if I have any inventory. And just for you know, those of you, those of you people outside the U.S., I can't sell them. Actually, I really can't even sell them outside of my own region. We do service what we sell, so kind of keep that in mind when you're out there looking for different products out there, and if you're looking to buy some stuff online, before you actually make that purchase, make sure that you check your local retailers, your local service people to see if they're even going to service that hot tub. And as the demand is growing and growing and growing, we're actually getting more and more product out there that is getting imported. And that's another thing to just kind of keep in mind. There are certain brands that are kind of harder to, for people to deal with or people to get service for. Like in my market in particular, there are no master spa service centers. So there's nobody in this area here in South Dakota that actually will serve Service a master spa unless somebody's popped up in the, in the last eight nine months that I'm not aware of just nobody will actually service those spas so that's kind of a big deal because if you can't get the parts which is which is a little bit of an issue and then nobody will service it on top of that. Th those are just some things you need to take into consideration when you're trying to figure out the value of your hot tub. In today's market, it's 2021. Everybody is wanting to know how much hot tubs are these days. And again, hot tubs fall into four categories. You know, they're, they're going to be your entry level, your value priced, which is probably the most popular area. And then you're going to have your premium brand. And you are also going to have your luxury brand. So your entry level, those are two typically going to be a one pump system. You're going to see a lot of your rotationally molded polymers in that in that category. A lot of your plug and plays are going to kind of fall into that entry level. I sell a ton, an absolute ton of the, these hot tubs. They're phenomenal hot tubs. Please do not discount them because they are awesome. They are so much hot tub for the bang. But I would say, you know, that hot tub is going anywhere from Three to seven thousand dollars. You might even bump into that eight thousand dollar range if you get into a bigger one these days. There are a couple out there that have some two pump systems that are two twenty. One of the brands I sell is Dream Maker. They're actually kind of they've got a, got one that's pretty good. Nordic has has a really really nice one that's going to be in that you know ten thousand dollar range. Those are all going to kind of be your entry level hot tubs. If you play your cards right and look at the right ones, a lot of those have really really good insulation have a really good warranty to back them. So most of them are a one-year warranty, 
but there are a couple out there that have a few a little longer than that but an entry-level hot tub is a great way to get started in the hot tub industry i will tell you in my particular retail shop I'm not going to say this is true for everyone, but at my particular retail shop, and if you ask around, I'm sure you're going to find it, but a lot of us will do on the entry level, we will actually, if you trade it back in with a year because you're thinking, oh, I wish I went to the salt tub or I wish I would, I love hot tub and it's the greatest thing I ever did. If you decide that you want to do something a little, a little bit bigger, better, and better, we will actually give you 100% of what you paid towards a, a new hot tub as long as you go up at least one series so that's something that we do at my retail shop check around a lot of retailers will do that especially your hot tub dealerships most of them at least the ones that i'm i'm familiar with they will actually do that and that's that's a huge deal that's one way to get started in the hot tubs to see if you actually like it or not. So highly suggest trying that if that's one way you want to go. The next series is typically your, your value priced. I'm going to say those are going to right now, those are probably falling anywhere from six to about 14,000. They are great hot tubs. It, they're probably the most common hot tub that's sold out there in the market. I'd say the most common size hot tubs, the seven by seven, seats six or seven people, either has a lounge, doesn't have a lounge. I sell the hot, hot springs, the hot spot series falls into that. And we sell a ton of those. I will tell you that they're absolutely amazing. Big differences there is those hot tubs still have awesome insulation they're gonna have you know ours have the fiber core insulation most of them as you get into the bigger ones gonna have a two pump system the big difference there is not a 24-hour circulation pump on those hot tubs warranties on those are typically you know I'd say two to three years as the market as a whole they're still a really good hot tub it's a good starting point but I would say we definitely that's a that's a price point everybody is pretty comfortable with everybody feels like they're getting a pretty good hot tub getting a lot a lot of features with that you're usually getting waterfalls you're getting color changing lights you're getting good insulation all those things are a, are a big deal and highly popular way to go the next series up is called the premium series or the premium line what's going to fall into there going to be you know a lot of your major brand uh, the hot springs limelight's in there the caldera paradise series is in there that's where you're going to find the sundance the jacuzzis all of those tubs are going to kind of land in that range um, you, most of those are actually going to have a 24-hour circulation pump, which is, in my opinion, if you're going to spend the money, definitely get a hot tub with a 24-hour circulation pump. It will last longer. But you are, you know, price range, you're probably closer to the... I'd say 12 to 18 range is kind of where the, the premium line is landing these days. In the Hot Springs and the Caldera and their premium lines, you are now getting into salt water, which is awesome. In other brands, they do, they cannot sell salt water. Typically, your warranties on your premium lines, they're going to be a five-year warranty. I don't want to talk about everything out there because there's, there's lots of different components on different things, but the stuff that really matters, the components, those are typically a five-year warranty in your premium line. Pretty awesome some really great value. You're definitely getting a hot tub that's going to last you for 20 years. Very well insulated. It's going to be very efficient to run. The hot tubs that show in your premium line, again, that's kind of where they're going to land. And then of course, there's the luxury series. Luxury series hot tub, hands down, they're not for everybody, but they're going to, again, they're going to run anywhere from 20 to 21, 22,000. They are awesome, absolutely incredible, totally worth totally worth the money if you want to to get an investment that you know is going to last and something you're going to enjoy for, for decades to come your premium series lines are going to have the absolute best insulation i sell the hot spring series I, again i you guys all know i have a hot spring grandy outside it's got the absolute best insulation that's out there it's got the no bypass filtration if you guys have questions about any of this stuff ask me down below I'll be more than happy to go into more detail the triax filters those are a five year filter i mean five years on those filters so that's awesome and they have the removable remote controls they're they're pretty pretty amazing so the hot springs high life we're also going to get into the caldera utopia series those are all going to be in your premium line and again those are going to be in that 12 to 22,000 range but they are totally and 100 percent worth it what i will tell you here in 2021 inventory is hard to get so if i could tell you anything one plan on being patient every retailer is in, is in a different spot on how much inventory they could get but most 
almost every hot tub manufacturer that I am working with today, and I work with about five, is a minimum of 40 weeks. Some of them are as far out as 52 to 56 weeks. So if you come in and order a hot tub today, it's going to take a little bit to get it totally 100% worth it. Your life is going to improve a bazillion percent. I, and I'm not exaggerating when I say a bazillion print percent. Like Vince said the other day, you are going to be better physically below the water, mentally above the water, and emotionally better and relationally better beyond the water. A hot tub will change your life and every day will be made better. Be patient. Get on a list. Don't don't think this is going to settle down anytime soon because it's not. There's, um, I really do think that the hot tub industry will probably be in this waiting holding period for about probably a good two to three years yet i don't see this settling down anytime soon the demand has not i repeat has not gone down at all so and the inventory is lots of things going on there lots of supply chain issues shipping issues a lot of things that are not allowing the hot tubs to get out as as quickly as as we would like to or as quickly as they have been in the past but i can also say the demand is higher than it's ever been i've been in this industry for a really long time and i was always hope for the day that everybody would want a hot tub and here we are. I can tell you guys, get a hot tub. You will absolutely love it. Find the category that you're comfortable with. Again, that entry level is going to be anywhere from three to about 8,000. Your value price is going to be anywhere from eight to about 14. Your premium is be, you know, that 12 to 16, 18 range. And your luxury is going to be 12 to 20, 22 range. Get yourself a, a great hot tub. Get one in the range that you're comfortable of, of getting a hot tub. If you find one out there that you like, don't settle. Don't don't give up on something just because there's something available. Make sure you get the one that you want. Do a little bit of homework. Check out your, your retailer. You know, like I told you guys before, make sure there's at least 100 Google reviews. And make sure there's 100 five-star Google reviews. Make sure you've checked out the warranty on them. Make, you know, places that come in that are just fly by night hey we're here this weekend and gone next weekend who's going to take care of you after the sale and and find out call, call around just do your homework on that type of thing you know make sure wh wherever you buy it that they're going to service it if you do find one get it i mean honestly get it it's gonna be the greatest thing you ever did i do promise that anyway guys i love you so much and if there's anything i can do to help you guys find a hot tub or answer any questions to steer you in the right direction i'd be thrilled to do so just remember guys i love you here at the hot tub lady and don't don't forget to give me a thumbs up ring that bell and keep making life epic